from a glitch that lets you swim extra fast to a way to get into a secret room. Here are 28 Roblox Blocks Fruit secrets I bet you didn't know. If you ever find yourself in a situation where you need to get out of there as quickly as you can, and you're on low HP, just use Venom. The lower your health is, the faster Venom will be. I also love how Venom's Noxia shot skill auto aims to the nearest enemy. Only 1% knew this one. Many of you already know about the secret room located right below the cafe, but not everyone knows its name. When you enter the room, you'll see a whiteboard. Look behind it and you'll see that it says King Toad's house. A long time ago, you could find pretty valuable loot in it. We're talking diamonds and gold. Take a look at that briefcase on the floor. It used to be full of cash. I know I'm not the only one who tried to escape the raid at least once. Why? Because you can still collect some bounty without risking your life. First locate the nearest island, and then shine that flight to get there. It may take you a while, but it's worth it. Actually, it's not. But it feels good to know that you can do that. Even the swan ship looks more appealing than this boat. Everything about it is weird, but I'll still show you the way to acquire it. You'll have to be at the cafe, run out, and climb on top of the factory. Now, listen carefully. At one of those windows, there will be an NPC that can sell you this boat. I won't tell you his exact location, though. Go find it yourself. The goofy boat costs 1,500 fragments, and it's super slow. So why would developers huh? make that bad boat? Well, it's actually actually not so bad, and even though it looks like a 3 year old kid's sketch, it has 5,000 horsepower making it one of the most durable boats in the game. Also, it's not called a goofy boat, its real name is the flower boat. Since I don't have any friends I can ride with on Flamingo, I'll spawn my besto friendo. You can do the same or just use your real friend if you're that lucky. Then spawn a flamingo with a love fruit while you're near them in order to pick them up, and then there you go, you're swimming through the air with your friend. This also works on NPCs. I do this every time I'm bored in this game. Eat the portal fruit and then activate the parallel escape move while standing still. After the move ends, you can enjoy being completely invisible to all the other players. Now you can attack your friends and they won't know what's going on. It'll be hilarious, trust me. This will be the easiest loot of your life if you have shining flight. Just climb on top of the haunted castle and there you will find three chests. Easy 30k. I feel sorry for you if you don't have shining flight yet. It truly is one of the most useful moves. Most of you already know about the best of friendo, but what if you don't have any friends? You can still use it. Just activate the movement in a blink of an eye, you will get a friend that will protect you at all costs. He's a better friend than any of my real friends. Oh yeah, I don't have any of those. Not everyone knows about the electro fighting style you can learn from the mad scientist. He's located somewhere in the Skylands, but if you think I'm gonna be so nice and tell you where he is, haha, <laughs> go find him yourself. In Blocks Fruits, there are two islands it's impossible to stay alive on. One of them is hidden and its only purpose is to kill you. Anywhere you stand on it will quickly take away your whole HP. No matter who you are, you can't survive this. The second island is a little bit more human, however you still won't survive it. I'll show you how to find it. Go to the graveyard and then look at the boat from its right side. Get closer to the boat's bow and just travel forward. It will take some time, but meeting Rip Injure will be worth it. Or not. However, chances of you killing him are equal to zero because his health constantly restores and you have to be super quick and super strong. Even if you somehow do kill him, unfortunately you won't get a big bounty. There's an NPC called Aaron that will let you watch the whole Rip Injure's fight. You can find her at the Castle of the Sea. What's even more interesting is that after you reset the fight, you'll be stuck in Aaron's POV. That's one way to become an NPC. This could save you if you're just stuck on the open sea without a bow. Activate Shark V4 and then combine it with Shining Flight. You can fly in the water. This is completely useless because who would use Shining Flight to swim? But when you think about it, this would be a great way to prank your friends in a boat race. Did you know that magma is not actually the strongest fruit? Well, it's not. Magma takes 6,500 damage and Bomb takes over 9,000, making it the strongest fruit in the game. Why is Magma still so hype? I bet you didn't know this one. We all know control fruits let you levitate objects. Now if you go to Hot and Cold and activate the first ability, you will be able to move igloos. There's one chest under every single igloo. Enjoy it. All of us have died from the beautiful pirate before many times. And what we hate even more is having to travel back to the beautiful pirate all the way from Hydra. It's a long way if you don't have a portal, but there's actually a secret secret tunnel that leads you directly to the beautiful pirate. At the bottom of the waterfall, behind the water, there's a tunnel that will lead you there. But be careful since there are two tunnels. You need to get into the bottom one, and I won't tell you where the other one takes you. You'll have to find that out yourself. There's a hole at the great tree that lets you fall under the map. 
Under them, you will discover a huge playground and a great hiding spot if you're trying to run away from someone. Smaller avatars actually perform better in PvP. How easy! Smaller avatars are much harder to hit because, well, they have smaller hitboxes. If you don't believe me, try it out for yourself. From now on, I'm only wearing smaller avatars when I'm about to PvP someone. The first time I started the game, I somehow got in this house without even knowing a thing about the game. There's one house on the middle island you can enter and find a very interesting surprise in it. There's nothing worthy inside, but since it's an easter egg house, the content of it is pretty wild. Check it out. For those of you that attempted fighting Don Swan, you never fought him in the mansion. Instead, you're teleported to another location on the map that's not even close to the mansion. I mean, what did you expect? It's obvious that in-game fruits were inspired by the One Piece anime, but only a few of you know that the fruit characteristics were fully copied from One Piece. For example, Ice Fruit lets you walk on water, just like Aokiji in one piece. Using this glitch will make sure you win every PvP battle out there. Take God Human Fruit and use the Soaring Beast, the Z move. Then face up and quickly face down and spam spacebar. Your new nickname will be Speed. Did you know that dying to an NPC makes you lose bounty? Um yeah, we already know this. Well, you may know the first part, but you don't know how much bounty you lose after dying from which NPC. The amount of bounty you lose is actually an NPC's level. For example, if an NPC is level 10, you will lose 1000. Simple math. On the Castle of the Sea, there are bookshelves that are unbreakable, but there's a way of breaking them, and it's pretty easy. All you need to do is go outside and break a tree, and then quickly run to the bookshelves and break them. This secret gets a reward for being the most useless secret ever. I really want to meet the person that found this out. Can you imagine how bored they were? Did you know that you could actually get a free leopard? I didn't believe this at first, but when I hit that red subscribe button down below and launched Blocks Fruits, I had a leopard fruit in my inventory. How crazy is that? That. I can't even imagine how much effort the game's developers had to put in in order to make that work. If you still don't believe that Blocks Fruits is based on the One Piece anime, here's another proof. After eating a chop fruit, you will become immune to sword attack, even the strongest and sharpest ones, which is a perfect way to prank new players. In older versions of the game, water used to look so weird. It's like developers didn't even try to work on a single detail. It was just the same shade of blue with a weird wave animation. Even though it had an animation, it still looked like it's standing still. The new water texture suits the game so much better. If you played Blocks Fruits when Sky Jump was infinite, it was probably your favorite ability because of how overpowered it was. As long as you had energy, you could spam Sky Jump and reach the skies. No wonder why developers realized so quickly they should nerf it, which they sadly did. I bet you didn't know that. The current level cap for Blocks Fruits is 2450, but years ago it was only 300. Max Island in the game was the call Coliseum, which is just so funny now. It was the end of the game once you reached it, and the second C didn't even exist. Do I really have to say anything about the third C? Luckily, developers expanded the whole game. It would be really sad if that's where the game ended. Now that's cool. And there you have it, that's 25 secrets I hope you didn't know. Make sure to comment down below how many of these you already knew, and subscribe!